Aaron Wan-Bissaka is one of the most exciting prospects in the Premier League. I'm Statman Dave and today we're going to be looking at his career so far and why the way he plays could develop the role of fullbacks in the coming seasons. Aaron Wan-Bissaka is from Croydon, South London. Growing up only five miles away from Crystal Palace's Selhurst Park ground, he joined the club's academy at 11 and by the age of 21 was their first choice right back playing in the Premier League. Initially a winger, Aaron's skill for making a tackle was eventually brought to the forefront when coaches tried him out at right back. After only one full season as Crystal Palace's first choice right back, he earned a £45 million move to Manchester United with the fee potentially rising to £50 million. Let's dive into the tactics and look how wan potential justified Manchester United's massive investment. This is how Manchester United have been lining up so far this season, but if we rotate back and see where Ashley Young played for Manchester United, and we can talk a little bit about tactics. In terms of the fullbacks, you know, last season, the season before, they were used quite a lot into the final third, where United's front four players played really narrow, and the fullbacks would provide the width in the final third, getting to a position to cross the ball into the box. Of course, uh, you know, the delivery in terms of those areas could have been improved. United put a lot of balls into the box and didn't score many goals from that opportunity. But it was an attacking role, a little bit like a Trent Alexander Arnold. The Robertson plays for Liverpool, getting into the final third and looking to deliver. But unfortunately, that strategy didn't work out quite right. And the signing of Aaron Wambasaka is going to massively improve United in that attacking third. But not because of his ability to stretch the play and hit the byline, but it's a little bit more interesting. In wan only full season at Crystal Palace, he played at right fullback. Roy Hodgson set Crystal Palace up in the 4-4-2 shape. It was very hard to break down. The support that the wide players would give the fullbacks allowed Aaron wan a lot of protection. The big thing though, when he got 1v1, he'd make a tackle, he'd make an interception, he'd make a clearance. That was a key part of Aaron wan game. If the opposition were attacking down his flank, he'd be the guy that go and close down the ball and usually win it. In terms of stats for fullbacks in the Premier League, Aaron wan cleaned house. Most tackles, most interceptions, most clearances and most dribbles. But it was from that role that if, uh, let's say Crystal Palace did win the ball um, on the right hand side uh, with the right midfielder, Aaron wan would make an interesting move. Another reason why Man United might have highlighted him as a potential player that could have been good, not over that defensive aspect we mentioned before, getting out quickly to stop the cross getting into the box or making a sliding tackle as we've seen time and time again so far in his Premier League career. But that inverted motion, that motion to move inside instead of on the natural overlap. The, the, the natural fullback, like a Gary Neville, is going to move round the right winger and get to the byline and cross. Aaron wan seems to have a tendency to drive inside, from probably from his days of playing as an attacker, an inside forward that likes to cut inside instead of a traditional winger looking to get the ball into the box. Again, one of the reasons why Man United may have highlighted him. But of course, we spoke about wan at Crystal Palace. Now, it's time to talk about how he's going to evolve Manchester United's possessional play, attack and defence in one swift motion. Of course, the top teams, as we mentioned before, in European football, stretch the pitch horizontally. You've taken a Liverpool or Real Madrid example, it's all about their fullbacks getting into the final third, providing that width that we mentioned before, getting to an area where they can look to cross the bot, you know, look to hit the byline and cross or cross from that deeper position. Man United, though, are a little bit different. What Manchester United now look to do in possession is create that front five uh, sort of band of players. You're thinking they build up with three guys at the back, two in midfield, and then five in an attacking sense. What are going to Solskjaer's Manchester United do with their front three is they stretch them really, really wide. Andreas Pereira moves into the inside left channel, inside right channel, and then Paul Pogba or the box-to-box -box midfielder will attack that area, leaving Scott McTominay in a defensive position. So for this example, let's take Manchester United have the ball maybe down this, this uh, right wing. So let's say uh, Paul Pogba or McTominay's holding possession here. In terms of what the fullbacks do in this situation for Manchester United and why wan is so good in this role is the narrow position that he takes up. In terms of this, Manchester United's three defenders will stick. Luke Shaw will tuck in, Maguire and Lindelof will sit in there, and, and uh, Aaron wan will take up this position, supporting the play. So Scott McTominay can pop the ball there. Aaron wan now has a little triangle in the final third. Uh, the right winger will hold the width, and Paul Pogba will be this option on the inside in this box-to-box -box position. Not only that has improved Manchester United attack, but it allows them to be safe if they lose the ball. The big, big strength of wan as we mentioned before, is his ability to cover ground and get back in a defensive sense that if United lose the ball in the transition, uh, you know, if the ball goes uh, maybe inside to Paul Pogba, then the possession is lost. Aaron wan is very, very quick in getting back. 
getting back to create that back of four and help his teammates out. We mentioned that tackle stat before. For Manchester United against Chelsea, Wan-Bissaka made six tackles, more than any other player on the pitch, but not only that, three interceptions. And this possession shape and his ability to transition from their attacking shape to the defensive shape uh, is really important for Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Not only that in possession, but if United's shape uh, slightly changes and Paul Pogba is sitting uh, in a deeper position and he's part of the band of two behind the five, wan as we mentioned before, can make that inverted run. And that's something that we've seen already for Manchester United. Driving inside, um, pulling in that central position, allowing him to receive uh, in that inverted sort of uh, you know, inside forward position, then linking with the fullback and then making that in inverted runner again and looking to deliver the ball into the box. For someone like uh, either Marcus Rashford or Anthony Martial to get into that position and put the ball into the back of the net. But also quite important, not only is wan giving United that good base when they're in possession, but also in that final third, operating in that sort of inside position. Of course, if it slightly changes and the system uh, tweaks and we find that uh, Jesse Lingard, in fact, is, is in that central position, wan can operate wide. Not his strengths, I'd say. I think he's better on that inside movement, but still, has got a bit of skills, can put the ball into the box if he's in that wide area. And again, let's move on to another set phase of Manchester United. That is their pressing. Their pressing from when they lose the ball uh, in this uh, attacking shape has been really good. It's very compact. United uh, press in what pretty much looks like a very narrow 4-2-3-1 uh, if the ball is on the left side of the pitch. You'll see United press really aggressively in that area. Of course, with the press, uh, you know, when you're really looking to box people on, you need everyone to be super aggressive. But the key thing for United, and again Aaron wan of why he's been identified to fulfill this role so well, is because if United make that move. So if Manchester United shift their players over and they're pressing in a narrow sense, uh, you know, you want to commit a lot of bodies, Luke Shaw wants to be high, the fullbacks want to be high, and you want to commit this narrow area. You want to be fitting all your players in one side of the pitch. The big thing of beating a press is when the ball gets switched out. The big thing with Aaron Wan-Bissaka, as we mentioned before, really, really good on the cover. We've already seen it for Manchester United as soon as that ball switched. Wan-Bissaka is straight out there, straight to make a tackle, and very, very important in the transitional sense for Manchester United. Not only in their press, when they lose the ball in the final third, but just winning it back. His tackling is fantastic, and that is a big, big reason why Man United bought him. 1v1, he is excellent. A few parts of his game that I think he needs to work on and improve over the, the coming seasons at United. Number one, it's in that final third. It's getting the crosses into the box. It's looking to deliver good quality balls, like something we've seen from Trent Alexander-Arnold's evolution at Liverpool. Trent can now deliver from deep, he can deliver from the byline, and can deliver from a, you know, a normal area. The next thing with Aaron Wan-Bissaka is just his positioning. He needs to work on it a little bit. Again, given that he's been a winger all through his uh, you know, youth career, he's only played fullback for a season, you know, you, you kind of expect him to have a few holes in his game. And that's a little thing. It's just positioning himself um, not behind the centre-halves. I'd say that's the first big thing, that he wants to be in a position that allows Lindelof and Maguire to see the line. But also, if the ball's crossed, he needs to take up good defensive positioning in terms of either man-marking or picking up a zone. But those little things there, Aaron wan has already shown why Manchester United have signed him. The tackle machine, excellent in the transitional sense, and a fantastic player for United. Can overlap, can underlap. Looks really, really good. His game by numbers versus Chelsea was absolutely fantastic. He completed 100% of his passes in the final third, won 100% of his aerial duels, completed 86% of his passes, won those six tackles, made the three interceptions, completed two out of four dribbles, committed zero fouls, United conceded no goals. Fantastic stuff. But anyway, guys, what do you think of Aaron wan and how much has he evolved Manchester United's defence? Thanks so much for watching. Get involved into the comments below. Of course, subscribe if you are new to the Squawker YouTube channel and you like videos like this. And I'll see you next time on Squawker.